In this video, we're going to take a look at what it means to have a primary, secondary, or tertiary alcohol, halogenoalkane, or amine. So let's start off with alcohols. Alcohols can be defined as either being primary, secondary, or tertiary, depending on what the carbon attached to the alcohol group, the hydroxyl group, is attached to. So let's kind of take a look at our molecules here and first pick out on this first one our hydroxyl group. So that is our functional group. And then to determine if it's primary, secondary, or tertiary, we're going to look at the carbon attached to it and look at what else it's attached to. So if we look at what else it's attached to, it's attached to one alkyl group and two hydrogens. So because it's only attached to one other alkyl group, this is called a primary alcohol. If we look at the next one and kind of do the same thing, so our carbon attached to our functional group is now attached to two alkyl groups and one hydrogen. So this, because it's attached to two other alkyl groups, is called a secondary alcohol. Okay, again, we're defining it based on what is attached to the carbon that is attached to the hydroxyl group. All right, looking at our last one then, we've got our carbon attached to our hydroxyl group, and now there are three alkyl groups attached to that carbon and no hydrogens attached. Because there are three alkyl groups, this is called a tertiary alcohol. All right, so it depends how many alkyl groups are attached to that carbon, attached to the functional group. It's a little bit of a mouthful when you say it. And I've only drawn methyl groups here, but it can be any alkyl group. So these can all be replaced by any alkyl groups, okay? They can be ethyls, methyls, propyls, like anything really uh, is fair game here, okay? So it doesn't matter what it is, um, as long as it's got another carbon-containing group attached to it. Okay, so that is primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. If we take a look at halogenoalkanes, we can define them in the same way, where we take a look at the carbon. So our carbon here. Ah, can't get the right color. Okay, there we go, green. Um, here's our halogen. So let's maybe just highlight our halogen and all of them, our carbons and all of them. And then you can see in the first one, we only have one alkyl group. The second one, we have two. And the third one, we have three. Okay, so this would be a primary, a secondary, and a tertiary halogenoalkane. Acts the exact same way as alcohols do. Now, amines are a little bit different because it's centering around the nitrogen, and nitrogen only forms three bonds. So we've got a nitrogen here, and what we're doing is we're looking at everything that's attached to that nitrogen. So let's maybe highlight the alkyl groups here and all three molecules, and we'll also highlight the hydrogens here. And if we look at the first one, the first one has one alkyl group attached to the nitrogen and two other hydrogens, or it has the form of um, NH2 with its alkyl group. So this would be a primary amine. Our secondary amine has our R group, and then it has an NHR. So it has one more alkyl group attached. And then our tertiary one has two alkyls attached. So this takes the form of R and R2, okay? So this is a secondary and this is a tertiary amine. So it depends on how many alkyl groups are attached in these two other positions on the nitrogen group. So that's it for primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols, halogenoalkanes, and amines. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.